there's always something happening. Like that. I record, edit, hours of meetings, flights I have to catch, posing naked after a shower for an hour straight. And I'm starting to hate it. I should love what I do. This is my dream job that started from a passion 10 years ago. But now everything just feels like stress and i never give myself time to rest and i always look for distractions so i found this method online that almost forces you to de-stress shut your body off to truly experience nothing and at some point your brain because there's no stimuli it'll just shut off so i found the perfect place to experience nothing thank you to my best friend will here what's up guys what do you think will happen i stress a lot i always have something on my mind so i'm hoping i can kind of forget today that i've seen this online mm. it made ryan train cry I'm an emotional guy, so I, I might cry too. So there is this room called a float tank. And if you go in, all your senses are turned off. And as seen online, it's a pretty intense experience. So we put on our blue slides. And right when we walked in, we were welcomed by a very relaxing environment. Hey, how's it going? What's up? Welcome. Ready? Am I, am I rightfully nervous? Uh, it's okay to be a little nervous, but it's going to be the most relaxing thing you've done, so. I'm already relaxed just walking in. But now he's going to get us ready for the tank. We're actually starting with stimulating our senses a lot to make the contrast with the flow tank even bigger. This is called a fire and ice room. So you can take a look inside because you got the stones in there. The water goes on the rocks and that actually increases the humidity. A lot of people with this room is like they want to really push themselves. When you say push yourself, what do you mean by that? You're just trying to go until you feel like you're going to collapse. So at least that's how I like to do it. What's this on the, on the wall here? This is our protocol. Like, so generally recommend you start with the hot. You right. do about 15 minutes in the sauna. Then you go into the ice bath. And the goal with the, with the ice bath is to be in there for at least a minute and a half. And then you'll be doing the light therapy. And the light therapy is just on the wall there behind you. I feel happy just looking at it. I would recommend keeping them more closed. But, oh, I'm, yeah. uh oh. Um, <laughs> if they're not hurting, that's okay. How can you do that? <laughs> it is good for eye health. So not, not a problem to do that. I'm becoming supernatural. How will this relate to the flow tank? So this is very much as bringing your energy up. You're gonna to go to the light. That's the energy is gonna to start to come brought down a little bit and then you're gonna be perfect to go into the flow tank. Are you excited for this room or more scared? I don't know. I don't know about like the torture, when you said torture, that word, I don't know. So it was time to experience. Let's challenge ourselves together. Oh, that's oh hot. My God. We really had to push ourselves for 15 minutes straight. What does that it say? It means it's hot. <laughs> oh, we do Celsius, so I have no idea what this means. It's 200 degrees Fahrenheit. That's almost 100 degrees. No. Aren't we supposed to be boiling? <laughs> And after this, it was time for the ice bath. Because your skin temperature in there goes up really high. And so when you go into the ice bath, your body is almost tricked thinking, oh, the ice bath is not that cold because my skin temperature is so hot. Oh. Ah, I'm past that point of panic. We pushed yourself. <clears throat> yeah, let's go. Oh my God. No? He said this was supposed to be easy. And the camera is still hot. Oh, dude. This could not be healthy. Woo! You guys, I like the video for that. Inhale. Exhale. Will is not really liking the ice bath at all, but now it's time for the light. Now it's my time to shine. Well, this is a good spot. Stand there and close your eyes like you're going to have it. This makes me feel happy. Yeah, I've been smiling the entire time. In round two, Will really wanted to challenge himself and he did not just dip his toes in this time. My balls are glazing the water right now. <laughs> I just went... <laughs> Will definitely oh. pushed himself. Oh my god, it's so painful. You might be good at this. So I heard that. Holy f Are you crazy? I feel nothing. Nothing at all. Uh, I'm feeling good, but I'm also feeling cold. Your nets are still hard. Yeah, in a sauna, what the hell? I feel like an insane amount right now. I'm excited to experience nothing now. I want to feel nothing. I'm excited to experience nothing. Three, two, one. <gasps> That's impressive. I'm proud of you. Let's try to experience less and less. So in the next treatment, we're going to be hypnotized? This is something called our Lucia light. What this does is while you are awake, it puts you into a dreamlike state. So that's like hypnotizing you? Pretty much. The lights will turn to colors, into shapes, into fractals, and you'll go on very much of like a light journey. Strobe light doesn't yeah. sound super relaxing. It doesn't. It's almost overwhelming to the sense where you have to relax. You have to relax. You have to wow. relax. People do this for about half an hour. Can most people do half an hour right away? Yeah, not a problem. This light is going to basically prime you and get you ready for your float experience today. Turn off the lights and then get started.
At first, this was very annoying to my eyes, but then my brain sort of accepted it and I started hallucinating a bit. That felt, oh my God, that felt like a couple hours. That felt very long, yeah. I thought I couldn't handle the lights and then it went away and then it felt very, I'm feeling extremely relaxed. I had a moment though. I was, I was seeing like blue, orange and stuff and then all of a sudden it went, it went black and red. Okay. And I felt, oh. and I felt fear. I saw a lot of, a lot of trees. I know why. The fact that you saw trees, that may come to you in the next couple of weeks as to why you saw that. Parts of your body that need to be cleared, they'll come up. You, that tense part you feel, you'll feel it. But the fact that you're able to relax into it allows it to then pass through. You're primed and ready to go in the flow tank. Let's do it. I'm ready. Are you ready? Go. Now it was time for nothing. So this is the flow tank. This is our larger flow tank. There's about 10 inches of water. So 10 inches of water has 800 pounds of Epsom salts infused in it. So we literally get the salt by the truckload. So what happens when you lay in the water is it floats you up because of the salt, it's very dense. It floats you up like you're laying into a mattress. The water in the air is heated to body temperature. And so once you get comfortable and you're laying still, your body temperature, the air temperature, and the water temperature all become one. That makes you not feel your body at all. At some point, your brain, because there's no stimuli, it'll just shut off. Kind of scared? I'm, I'm I'm actually very scared. How am I gonna get into this state? Is it just gonna happen? It's just gonna happen. Just let it happen. I'll let it happen. Good luck. See you on the other side. The first thing you wanna do when you have the room to yourself is to take the pair of earplugs, put it nice and deep into your ear until you get a nice tight seal. When you come in with you, you'd wanna bring this in. It's a nice neck pillow. Just sits behind your head like that. It's good for neck tension. Got a night vision camera right here, so you guys can experience it with me. The lights will completely turn off. I will hopefully feel nothing. Whoa. 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 All right. Good luck. Thank you, man. See you in an hour. See you in an hour. Oh, see you guys in an hour. Wish you luck. The door closing just made it instantly get more real. The first couple minutes in the ocean cabin, the lights will be on and there'll be a little bit of music playing. That's kind of your time to get comfortable. I feel like I'm gonna love it in Stranger Things. By blocking the sight, by blocking sound, by blocking feeling, it allows you to get into a very deep, deep meditative state and experience nothing for the first time. So we were both in our own float tank and I can say that we both had a very different experience. Oh, there's a line going up. Let the hour begin. This is extreme. The idea is to find that most comfortable position in the first 10 minutes and then try to stay still. And staying still will get you a lot deeper into the relaxation. But relaxing was not that easy. Why did I find it so hard to relax? And not just for me. It started to feel impossible to me that my body was going to relax. Usually the first five to 10 minutes, especially during a first float, people are finding that um, they'll have a lot of thoughts. A lot of random thoughts will come up, things that might be on your mind that are stressful. Talking about random thoughts, there was only one thing going through my mind right now. If I fall asleep, can I actually drown in this thing? There's no chance of drowning or no really chance of danger whatsoever. Say they fell asleep and somehow they managed to turn over because of the high salt concentration in there, they would wake up immediately. It felt like we were more stressed inside the tank than outside the tank. I find it extremely hard to just focus on nothing. There's really nothing going on. Definitely gets posture gains. I don't feel like feel it's so tense, especially my neck, but also my back and my arms. Is this meant to be like this? I don't know how much time has passed, but it feels like it's been 12 minutes. I guess 15 minutes. It's been about 20 minutes now. They probably entered that theta brainwave state now where they're in a meditative type of state. Probably not asleep and probably not awake, but very relaxed. For me, this is definitely true. It felt like my mind was going at the speed of light. And then just like that, I got into the dreamlike state. Whoa, I felt like I was not on this earth anymore for a second. Will, however, I'm Will was definitely experiencing a lot. But also his body, out of nowhere, relaxed. 
So they're about halfway through their experience now. Um, I'm assuming they're in a very, very deep state of relaxation. Being in this state is very, very pleasurable. And so most of the time people want to stay here and that's the goal of the whole experience. And then it kind of felt like I woke up. Two hours ago. And I had no clue if I closed my eyes for a minute or if the hour was almost over. I mean, online I read that one hour in this tank was the same as eight hours of sleep. I'm not too sure about that, but this definitely is a different type of relaxing that I'd never experienced before. When Will opened his eyes, he was a bit disorientated. Will really tried, but he wasn't able to relax again. We're pretty much done. Any minute now, their music will be turning on. The star lights at the top will also fade in. This will be the time where they kind of come back to their senses. They'll start to really notice how deep they went into their relaxation. What? Whoa. That was so weird. Also, we weren't really sure if we were supposed to go out ourselves or if someone was going to get us out. So we were in here for almost another hour. But even with the lights on, I kind of liked it. However, Will was pretty done with this. I've never not been able to calm down. I'm just so anxious. We definitely experienced nothing and a lot at the same time. It was time to go off. What's happening? What? How are you feeling? Wasn't I supposed to go out like a long time ago? I guess. How's Will doing? He's also still in. Let's get out. Let's get Will. How are you feeling, man? Um, like I'm a seizure. What? I couldn't control my movement. I'm going crazy. Yeah. Like I was really anxious as hell. You okay? No, I'm fine. Because I had it, then I just, I just fell asleep. Was that actually for real an hour? I thought I was in here for like a decade. Why I came here is like stressed out all the time. I, I thought I could de-stress here, but I realized that I uh, probably need to make some changes. I think I got angry because I couldn't relax. Once the light came on, I got, I got mad at myself that I couldn't do nothing. So maybe I was kind of getting rid of something there. I don't know if that's true, but that's maybe the, what I'm thinking about right now. I actually enjoyed doing nothing. I'm never coming back to do this again. No? Never. No? Never gonna do it again. Oh, that's like, interesting. Like, with, with four fact, never gonna do it again. Never? Never. I would come back. Maybe like when I'm like 40. We're looking beautiful right now, by the way. Let's I was gonna uh, say your skin looks great. You're glowing. Yeah, you're glowing as well. Hey. De-stressing one time in a tank is not gonna do it for me. No, I think I definitely need to work on myself and kind of listen to myself. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe, smash, like, and do all the YouTube stuff.